A hazard is anything with the potential to cause harm. So an occupational hazard is anything in connection with work that has got the potential to cause harm. An example of a common workplace hazard would be working at height, since if you fell, it uh, could have the potential to cause harm. In a typical workplace, there's going to be a multitude of different hazards present, uh, and they can be categorised into uh, different types. So for example, there are mechanical hazards that can include things like plant and machinery and vehicles. There are physical hazards that can include things like electricity and fire. There are chemical hazards that include things like asbestos and paints and solvents. There are also biological hazards that can include things like bacteria and blood-borne viruses. There are hazards associated with the environment, such as extremes of temperature. And there are also organisational hazards that would include things like stress, uh, bullying and violence, uh, heavy workloads, things of that nature. Some hazards are fairly easy to spot because they're fairly obvious. An example would be somebody working at height without adequate means of preventing a fall. Um, it would be obvious to a passerby what the hazard would be. Other hazards that can be found in many workplaces aren't quite as easy to spot in large part because the harm that that hazard can cause, there's a delay or a very slow gradual build up of the harm that occurs over uh, a longer period of time. And by the time the harm becomes apparent, it's often too late to really do anything about it. An example would be, there are certain types of uh, dusts, for example, that uh, if you inhale them in the workplace, over the course of one day, it might not do you much harm. But if you're continually exposed to that dust over you know, a long career, over the years, it starts to take its toll and can cause things like occupational asthma, or even in more um, serious circumstances, it can cause things like lung cancer, and the onset of those types of symptoms can be many, many years after exposure. Diseases associated with exposure to asbestos fibres, for example, often take many, many years to become apparent. And so at the time of exposure, there may not have been an awareness that uh, any of the workforce were actually at risk. Risk is another term that's used quite a bit in health and safety that is different to hazard. Quite often, these terms of hazard and risk can, can be confused with each other. So whereas a hazard is referring to something with the potential to cause harm, risk is the chances of that harm occurring together with a consideration of what the consequences of that harm will be, i.e. how bad the harm is going to be, um, how serious will the harm be. So essentially risk is a, a combination of two things together. It's um, the likelihood and the consequences. And what's often done is those two factors are considered um, semi-quantitively in risk assessments so that uh, the degree of likelihood can be somewhat gauged and the degree of the seriousness of the consequences can also be gauged to give people carrying out risk assessments a way of prioritising the more serious risks from the less serious risks. A risk assessment 
is a process whereby a careful examination of the hazards takes place to determine, well, firstly, what those hazards are. And once those hazards have been identified, you basically look at the, the risk associated with those hazards. And it's a structured process of going through all of the hazards to determine what the level of risk is and what, if anything, what needs to be done to bring that level of risk down to a tolerable level. Now, it might be the case that because uh, an organisation happens to have very, very good control measures in place, when they're doing a risk assessment on a particular hazard, they decide that the level of risk is actually tolerable because of all these good, robust control measures they've got in place, in which case they'd need to divert their attention maybe to, to a, a hazard where maybe there's a bit of a, a shortfall in terms of the control measures they've got in place. But by doing a risk assessment, uh, an employer is able to home in on those areas where they currently aren't doing enough to bring the level of risk down to a, a level that's tolerable for the organisation.